It's time for another Out of Bounds Rewind with Bo Bounds on ESPN 105.9, The Zone. All right, do you want me to play devil's advocate or no? I don't care. State's 5-1. I I, you know, so it's like you, you, no. you, you, you can try, but go ahead. All right, all right. So a couple of things. I saw some posts earlier today that um, Arkansas dropped three INTs in the first half. And there was a little bit, bit of that against A&M. Obviously, Will's having a hell of a year. Any concern over that? Well, the first thing that I'll say is that here in the great state of Mississippi, we never ratified the Hugh Kellenberger doctrine on almost interception. So that's love the first it. thing that I'll say. I love it. I love it. I love uh, it. The, the second thing that I'll say is, yeah, ball placement's got to be a little bit better. And and listen, some of that, too, I mean, like you, Dave Neal and his guys are doing the best job they can, and so you're kind of reacting. A guy gets a hand in there. It doesn't always mean they're going to pick it. That said – Fair enough. Yeah, Will's got Will's got to be on target a couple times more. I, I think actually the ones against A and M were more egregious. There was one against Arkansas that should have been a pick six, and uh, and the kid just simply dropped it. But there were a couple plays where and there's one I, I remember in the end zone there where the guy's just laying out full extension and just makes a heck of a play, and it was going to be a near impossible interception. Everybody's like, oh, almost picked. I mean, yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, you know, it's like. I don't know if Deion Sanders in his prime makes that pick, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but just but, but just because the guy gets his hands on that's there, a good doesn't point. mean it's always a pick. But that said, you know, I, th- I think Will Rogers, I think Will has a really does a good job with self awareness. I think Will will tell you, yeah, there's a couple of those I'd like to have back, and and you, know, you you keep going to the you keep going to the barber shop sooner or later you get the haircut, you know, so you got to be a little careful with that. I think Will's only had one, you know, true interception this year, and that was at LSU, and not knowing the routes or the concept on the play. I'm, I'm just kind of saying that based on third, you know, uh, third party info sure. there, but uh, you know, other two interceptions were off the hands of receivers. And so I think when you look at the totality of things, Will's done a great job of taking care of the football, but yeah, sure. you can, you, you can find some plays here and there where maybe it could have been better. Steve Robertson on the out of bounds show. All right. So people believe there's, there's more growth and more of a runway here with this Mississippi State offense. Um, you know, I actually agree. Um, I mean, think about this. Arguably, Steve, they're two most talented wide receivers. Ra Ra Thomas, one catch, nine yards. Tulu Griffin, one catch, 33 yards. And they won by 23 points. I actually think that says that there's more growth and more runway with the offense. I agree hundred percent. And let's go back to last week's conversation. You know, Jaden Wally and, and Austin Williams not really part of the offense in the win over Texas A and M, then they both get touchdowns this week. You know, so it's like it just speaks to the depth of this room that you can have a guy that maybe the defense wants to take away from you and you just adjust. You just kind of adjust your your play calling and say, Okay, well you're gonna take this guy, well we'll just go with this guy. And I think, you know, Ra Ra has the big game last week. He doesn't have a big game this week. I mean, so that puts him on schedule to, to be the SEC player of the week in Kentucky, right? I mean, it's like, you know, it, it's a different hero each week. And I don't think that's about inconsistency. I think that just really speaks to the depth of the wide receiver room. Don't miss one moment of the Out of Bounds Show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. on ESPN 105.9. The Zone.